Hello guys, welcome to my new video where I will be showing you how to make your WordPress theme header sticky. As you can see here, I have my WordPress website and the header, header is not fixed or sticky. And the way to do uh, to make it sticky, first you have to um, find the class name or the ID name of your theme header uh, to insert some code into the WordPress dashboard. Now you can use some plugins to make the header sticky, but uh, the more plugins you use on your website, the slower your website is going to be. So I to me, I like to um, keep things clean and efficient. So the best possible scenario is to insert uh, two three lines of CSS code, and you don't worry have to uh, you don't have to worry about the complexity of the codes, even if you haven't um, if you don't know how to code um, or any, any any of that stuff. Uh, you just have to copy and paste the code, the lines of code that I will be including in the video description. So the first thing you need to do is right click on the header and go to inspect, right? And uh, uh, what, what's going to happen is uh, you will get uh, a dashboard of Chrome tools open on the right of your window and you need to hover over uh, this highlighted class that's going to be highlighted for you when you right click on the header. And um, you need to experiment uh, with some stuff here, okay? So as you can see here, this is this line here starts with header, and when I uh, hover over it, um, the header section gets highlighted on the website. On uh, the the line uh, just beneath it, the whole section does not get highlighted. So I know that this line is uh, for the whole header, and so this is relevant to me uh, for making the header sticky. So. When I uh, the the relevant part on this line is the ID equals site dash header. So we know that the ID of the theme header is site dash header. Now, once we know the ID, we have to sign in to the dashboard of our website. Let me do that. And so we're at the dashboard now. Once you're at the dashboard, you need to scroll down and go to appearance and then customize, right? So this will open the theme uh, settings dashboard. And once I am at the theme settings dashboard, I need to scroll down and go to additional CSS. So once you are at the additional CSS tab, you need to go ahead and copy the CSS code that I will be including in the video description. So let's copy that and paste it right here. Now, notice that uh, the code starts with dot header sticky. Now, uh, for everyone, the theme header ID will be different. So I've included a genetic name here uh, and you need to erase this part and start it with hashtag and then the name, uh, the ID of your site header. So for us, this is site dash header. And notice now that the header becomes sticky. And let's go ahead and publish. Let's um, review the site in public mode. And, um, sorry. So, let's refresh this. And now the header is sticky. Now, uh, yeah, for uh, in some cases, uh, you might not uh, get uh, be able to get the ID of the header and instead you might have the class name here, right? So uh, for this case, we have both the ID and the, and the, and the, and the class name. For you, uh, the ID might not work or the class name might not work, so you'd have to interchange them, right? And so um, uh, if you, let's say you, had, you couldn't find the ID for the section, for the header section, but you could find the class name. So uh, in that case, you would just have to uh, just have to remove the uh, the ID with the class name. Now the class name here is header dash footer dash group. So um, to replace the ID with the class name, we erase um, site dash hashtag site dash header. And since this is the class name, that this will start with a dot. Uh, if it was the ID, uh, IDs always start with hashtag. If you're including a star a class name, it will start with a dot header dash footer dash group and that will do the trick for you and that is it for this video see you in the next one